Yeah, but it's not tuned up right, bro. I mean, you could hear his audio with how low and crunchy it is. Somebody didn't know what they were doing when they tuned it up. You got about nine adjustments in there that control that variable knob, and they didn't know how to broadband it. I think his best his best sound will probably be 9 o'clock or less or all the way to the left with his RF power dial. Maybe he'll lose that distortion. The sound to me and the audio quality and the audio sound and the level of it tells me somebody just didn't know what they were doing in that case, man. I'm going to sidestep it, man, let y'all guys work it out. Uh, it's not me he wanted the radio check from, so I'm going to get back. There's a couple other Brooklyn stations there. I know Surfer jumped in. I ended the conspiracy video gate a minute ago, and we're 50 seconds into the next one. Deary number two, I'm clear. Let's take a ride, guys. Far left as it'll go, Mike gain all the way to the right, far as it'll go. Let me see something. Yo, AV, watch this. <laughs> he turned the mic gain all the way to the left. He said, that. Listen to me. The RF power knob. Oh, it says RF power. Okay. It, uh, it says PWR. Might have a dimmer switch with it as well on the same dial. Spin both of those all the way to the left. Now, the one that says Mike and RF on it, make sure those are all the way to the right. Let's see something. Well, guys, you know I give up because if my man turns his mic gain all the way to the right from 9 o'clock to full open and he don't have a drop of audio, then he really needs more help than I could offer him. Guys, he's on you. The video gate's rolling. I'm quiet. All right, how about that, man? Well, now, now there's some kind of sound there. Whatever knob you just touched, turn that all the way to the right and leave it till we locate your power knob. Because it might be apparent you don't even know what the knobs mean on that unit. All uh, right, well, my power knob is to the left. Uh, right now it's to the left, and I got some swing in there. And I'm keying up. Yeah, okay, the mic gain is all the way to the right. The power switch is all the way to the left. Yeah, and you sound like a bodacious, beautiful radio now. So when you look at conspiracy theory and you hear how you came out and you hear what I just did for you in this next video, well, I ain't going to tell you. You're two people that are out there going to tell you because you don't want it from me. Don't touch it. Richie Clare. Hey, Roger, Richie. Appreciate it. Hey, Alice, how are you? Yes, sir. This one is not easy. Right now, push it out. to the other radio he started with you on 
because I want you to hear. You hear the difference? You hear the night and day difference? When he looks at these two video games, he's going to realize every word that came out of my mouth is 100% correct. And I can tell you, um, on his RF power knob all the way down like that, at 5 to the buck 50, that radio is nowhere near done. But I figured the way Sammy left him, the max that guy could go before he wigs out, audio and crunch-wise, will probably be about 10.30. With that, I'm on the side. Me and this 94 HP with the gold stock, my good side, Stever. First mistake, you went to Delta. And they just left his stock, that's all. They just left his stock. They didn't crash anything up there, beautiful. Yeah, I know, but I bet you they charged them for it. Shit, I wish I, I need to back my down. I need to back this down because I can't drive anything with this down too, too, too much watt. Uh, I need to back down this to about 5 watts, 150 or Yo, 5 to 150, that's a Sammy tune-up. No Galaxy radio comes out the box with a 25, 30 watt RMS swing stride, which will reflect that. I'm on the side. Or anybody know the reliable repair shop that I can buy this to? Well, my brother, I ain't got my CB shop open in the store like I used to or I'm used to, but... You want your radio taken care of, ask around. Believe none of what you hear and only what you hear and see. Richie, I'm sidestepping, man. I know if I'm the after on the before and after, it's going to reflect whole hardcore holy at these two gates. Richie, I'm sidestepping. Hey, Richie, what's that website so I can check out that uh, video game? Um, you could type in CB31NYC. It will not be posted until later on this evening or uh, tomorrow I'll, you know, unlock it. But um, the video that you will be listening for is Conspiracy Theory Number 1 and Theory Number 2 with today's date, okay? Number one is what you need to pay close attention to the, the second half of it because that's where you've been jumping for like 10, 15 minutes. The second video we moved here and I got you as straight as I can get you as the gates will reflect. Yes, sir. CB31NYC on YouTube. If you know how to work an email and you can type in Richie Radio 127 you can send me an email that says 454 Galaxy Radio Check-In. When the videos are loaded, I will link them right to you. I'll send you an email. You just open it, click on it, and it'll take you right to your videos, man. Richie Radio 127 at Gmail or Pistol Grip 127 at Gmail. Pistol Grip like that microphone. <laughs> Pistol Grip 127 Cliff. What you know about the pistol grip? I I, I I know who I sold my original pistol grip, Mike, that I entered the air with that came out of the box with that new unboxing 78XL on Utica about two weeks before I left. That's what I know about the pistol grip. That is the name of my skip, my, my skip channel. I haven't heard that, that name in a long time. What name? Pistol Grip 127 or Pistol Grip? Pistol Grip. Roger D. Well, Pistol Grip is my handle, and I got it from the introduction of the new ergonomic Pistol Grip stock microphone from Uniden, which comes as a stock mic in some of the Uniden radios, namely the 78 Elite with the orange lights. When you look, go through my video channel, you'll see me unbox that radio, you'll see my Ameritron, you'll see my shop tours, You'll see my two Uniden radios that I've been rocking the world with and what I was using at the times I was doing it. Richie is clear. Hey, for Roger with that uh, AV. Richie, I'll say uh, 73's man. Thanks for the help, guys. Dragging out. Dragging, you might want to take note to how you have those knobs set and uh, 
All you need to know is you're on a switch, on and off switch, your channel selector. Just be very careful for that knob next to the channel selector that says fine and coarse. Try to make sure those two orange lines are as straight up lined up as they can be and you might be I. Right. Asshole Roger, definitely will be. Appreciate the help, thank you guys. And no problem. Maybe it's not no big deal, man. You know, they just gave it to you stock, you just need to. Uh, on the stock of their tempo. Yeah, Tempo, unfortunately, I don't have the, the, the tools or the material to do it. I have a tech license to, to uh, do it. I got, a, I got an OM license. So I know what I'm doing inside of a radio, but without the machinery or the tools. I'm not going in there blind. That I am trying to tell you to flake it up, just find the right person and, uh, and get it done right. You'll be all right, Defo. It's not no big deal, Defo. Defo. Hey, uh, hey, uh, AV, this, this Galaxy 94 HP I'm talking on, I don't know, about... 24 hours before it got into my hands it actually came out of that place how it got to me was a totally blown speaker man the guy couldn't hear nothing when i put the headphones in he goes oh everybody sounds normal again i go yeah your speaker's blown he goes yo man you did all my radio so this one's supposed to be high powered everybody says it sounds really stock it was doing 30 peak watts man 30 peak watts keying up about about, about six seven watts and doing 30 peak in the end Go check my video gate of the finished product. What prompted my finished 94 Galaxy tune-up video was the other six or seven CB shop videos that I found out there, Bells, Red Man, shit like that, you know? When I seen what they did to it and uh, what their top end was, I guess you could say Richie's the king all around. Check out my dead key and watch stride on it, Richie Clare. And the other thing I gotta do too is I gotta loosen up this meter. The meter on this radio is stupid tight. That could be a good thing in this neighbor in this neck of the woods, dude. This one's way too loose, man. Um I, I know they did a receive mod on it before it came into my hands because the variable that controls the RX meter is totally uh, disconnected. Traces are cut, couple of wire jumps off the legs to different parts of the board, so I know it's some kind of receive mod, and I refuse to alter it because it receives really nice, as the video gates reflect. It's just very, very generous. When my other two radios have nothing with the needle sitting on the left for a noise level, um, this one's almost a third of its meter. So, you know, it's got a very sensitive receive. Yeah, Roger. When you transmit, you should be going all the way over to the right of my meter. You, you're at a 9 o'clock. AV is at a 9 o'clock. Okay. The knob that's on the knob, see the mic knob? The, the, the knob that says mic, does the other thing next to it say RF? Is it is it mic and RF with the same slot? Yep, yep, yep. They're both turned all the way to the right. Okay, the mic and the RF with the same two knobs all the way to the right. We're still coming in at 9? Four, Roger. Right at the, nine, the number 9 on the, uh, the meter. Right that smack in the middle. Well, you know, my brother, I, I would let a mobile come in front of you at 20 and see what it hits then. And like I said, that could be a real good thing. That could be a factory stock, unadulted receiver. That would be a blessing for your meter with your proximities. Let me, let, me, let me go lay down, man. I'm a little tired. Peace out, fellas. I'm going to cook this back to 31. I'm going to kill this video gate. Cook it back to 31. We're clear. Four out here. We're gone as well. 73, guys. Again, A.V. Richie, thanks for the help. Hey, no problem, man. No problem, man. Like I said, it ain't no big thing. No, no sound disappointed. I can tell by the, the, the tone of the voice. That'd be for sure.